People have been talking about whether or not alcohol causes cancer. I think this is a really critical topic. Let's talk about it. Does alcohol cause cancer? The short answer is yes. Let's talk a little bit about how that comes to be. Number one, alcohol causes a breakdown product called acetaldehyde, and that is toxic to human beings. It actually integrates into your DNA, blocks the DNA from being synthesized properly and damages the DNA. And then when the DNA repair mechanisms come in to kind of fix the damage, it actually prevents that from happening as well. So there are very significant side effects on a cellular basis. When you have damaged DNA, the cell doesn't function properly, it can become abnormal, and that's literally the definition of a cancer cell. Number two, it can significantly interfere with your absorption of vitamins and nutrients, and that can interfere with your overall health. The vitamins counteract some of the body's natural negative responses and negative generation of substances. And when you're drinking, it actually interferes with the ability for those vitamins to be present, to be absorbed, and to deal with the problems that you may have. Number three, it's an increase significantly in reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species further damage your DNA. So now you've got damaged DNA on top of damaged DNA that can't be repaired because the acetaldehyde is actually breaking the chain of events that allows the DNA to be repaired. And finally, there is a significant increase in estrogen production in pe people and women in particular that are drinking. So when you have higher estrogen levels, you're stimulating breast tissue and that leads to breast cell abnormalities and that can then lead to breast cancer. What kinds of cancer are affected by drinking alcohol? Cancers of the mouth and the throat, esophageal cancer, colorectal cancer, breast cancer, and liver cancer. All of those have been proven to have a significant increase. How high is that risk? Even people that are only drinking one drink per day have an increased risk. And if you're a moderate or a heavy drinker, those risks can be as high as 60% over the normal limit. So that is a huge increase in your risk of developing cancer. So it is absolutely critical for people to stop drinking because alcohol, causes very significant health changes that are not okay and are very detrimental to your overall well-being, especially where cancer is concerned. If that's not enough to convince you, keep this in mind as well. For the last three or four years during this pandemic, all of us have been using hand sanitizer on a daily basis to try and prevent getting bacteria or viruses. How does that work? There is a ton of alcohol in those hand sanitizers and that hand sanitizer is used to kill the tissue that is on the surface of your skin, namely the bacteria and the viruses. Well, what do you guys all think it's doing to you when you drink it? It's killing you from the inside. So don't drink if you can avoid it because it is horribly harmful to your body. It does cause cancer and the governments should mandate that alcohol should come with black box label warnings indicating that it is a significant cancer and health risk.